Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today we'll talk about a brand new Google Map feature that nobody knows. So if you just noticed that the Google Maps icon just had an update, it kind of got a little, you know, revamped. Well, there was also another feature that was just added in and it's a way that you're able to measure distance. So first off, let's, you know, take a look at that brand new Google Maps icon and then I'll show you exactly how you're able to measure distance inside of the application. So here is that brand new icon sitting right there if you notice that yours looks like this this is that update we're talking about now once you open this up one of the cool things you're able to do is you can drop your own pin and then you'd be able to measure a distance so for example here's a park you know it's pretty close by let's say that I wanted to start running right there now once you drop that pin you open this up you're gonna see the option right there where it says measure distance now from here let's just say that you wanted to run right there hit on add point then we're gonna move it right over here. We're gonna to run to the very end of that park and then pretty close, this should be pretty accurate. We're gonna go right there and hit on add points. So we know right here that this is 0.6 miles. Now, another thing you can maybe use this for is maybe let's say, let's say that we start all over and let's say that maybe you live right here. So if you live right there and then maybe you wanted to measure a distance of Let's say that you went, you know, right over here. We're gonna add in that point. Let's say that you went right there, add in that point. We went right over here. I mean, you can even do this, you know, uh, if you're in a bigger city, this might be a little helpful too, to see exactly, you know, what is the best route? Because maybe you only want to run exactly 1.5 miles. Uh, so this is one of those things that you're able to do. And, and you know, you can kind of see, you kind of see the gist of everything of what we're kind of doing. And you can, you can add as many points if you would like. Uh, so let's just say that we could just go right there. And then when we head right on back, we know for a fact it's exactly two miles. So again, this is something that you're, you know, kind of able to do if you're trying to figure out, you know, how far is something from me? How far is that person from me? Uh, this is kind of, you know, the run that I just got done doing. And it really just kind of adds it all up. Uh, maybe you are right here and, you know, again, maybe in a bigger city or downtown somewhere and you just wanted to see how far uh, this particular location was. And instead of you Googling, trying to figure it out, and then it takes you back in the maps anyways. And I mean, if you're right there and you know for a fact it's sitting right there, you're able to really set it up and you know it's 0.2 miles. But you know, you might find a lot of other more really good reasons to use you know this type of situation where you can measure a distance but i thought it was actually really cool uh especially if you are somebody who runs around a park and you want to know exactly what it is uh or you want to just whatever you're doing i just basically wanted to share this with you guys because it is something that is brand new and so again if you are trying to figure out exactly how you're able to do it just make sure that you just go somewhere you want to do a press and hold so you can drop the pin of where you're starting open it up hit on measure distance, then here we go. We got another park we can see, you know, how big this run is gonna be. So let's say that we go right over here, uh, drop pin. We're gonna go right over here, drop pin, head right on back. So this one is 1.4 miles. Hey, that's pretty cool. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.